Matthew chapter number 25, verses number 5, 6, and 7. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. When we read this initial story, about the marriage of the bridegroom and the virgins. There's a lot of history involved that individuals just reading the story may just completely overlook. This whole 24th and 25th chapter of Matthew has been talking about the coming return of the Messiah and be ready be ready be ready this is the recurring theme and this parable really emphasizes it even more because this parable has a lot of undertones one of the major undertones of this parable is it talks about the marriage of the bridegroom now, if you look in the scriptures and you look at the biblical holidays, one biblical holiday in particular in history talks about the marriage of the Messiah. That is the Feast of Trumpets. The Feast of Trumpets is pictured as a marriage of the Messiah when he returns. This was common knowledge throughout Judaism at the time that Christ gave this. So when he equates this to a marriage supper, everyone knows what he's talking about. Everyone knows He's giving hints or talking about this is the Feast of Trumpets. Now, let's take a look at the Feast of Trumpets and it will even explain it even more. The Feast of Trumpets and the scriptures in Leviticus, the 23rd chapter and other places. In the Hebrew, that's Yon Teruah. That's Hebrew for the same thing. And the name that is also known as, which is more popular, Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah means the beginning of the year or head of the year. This is the beginning of the, the agricultural year, the civil new year in Jerusalem, whereas the biblical new year actually starts back on Nisan 1, 14 days before the Passover. So that's where the word Rosh Hashanah come. And if you talk to any Jewish individual, Rosh Hashanah is typically recognized at the beginning of the year. That's the civil year. So that's where, so if you hear Rosh Hashanah, you know it's talking about Feast of Trumpets. You know it's talking about Yom Teruah. Now, the way they kept track of this, this was always the first day of the month of Tishri. That's the seventh month. And the way you would tell the beginning of the months is it would be the sighting of the first crescent moon. Now, the sighting of the first crescent moon was never ever an absolute. It either could be this day or it could be that day, depending on what percent or grade percent of the moon will be visible. Also depends on atmospheric conditions. Even today. The first crescent sliver of the new moon, we can't even tell 100% because we, through our modern technology, we can tell when we should be able to see it, but atmospheric con conditions could change at any time as we know, and we still could miss the sighting of the new moon. So therefore, when Christ referred to this as the wedding, the bridegroom when Christ referred to this and referring to the feast of trumpet this even more 
illustrates the ability of be ready because you will not know when it will occur. We know the majority of the Jewish world lives off of the calendar where the dates are predetermined, but the true biblical start is the new moon, which is undeterminable in advance. It's something you have to wait and see. You have to wait and see. So, therefore, the Feast of Trumpets, Yom Teruah, Rosh Hashanah, all of this ties in perfectly with what the Messiah was teaching us. We have to be ready and watch. Because if we don't, we could go to sleep and miss his coming. God, we bless you. We give you glory, honor, and praise. Worthy is the Lamb. Thank God.